Hey, you guys. Happy Friday. Happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. I'm so happy you're here with me today. Um, as I get everything set up, I know I'm a few minutes late. I apologize. And come on. <laughs> Pressing all my buttons here. Here we go. And there I am. All right. Let's see all our comments coming in. And I've got Tess and Fran. And three other people are watching. Hello, hello, Anne. Very nice that you all are here this morning. I've got a fun fold for you today. Um, I cannot wait to show this to you. <sighs> of course, I can never... I love showing all these cards to you. <laughs> so, but before I get into all of that, let me remind you that um, my March card kit by mail is now available if you have subscribed to my newsletter, to my email, then you should have gotten an email a couple days ago uh, announcing it with all the price options and everything. If you have not, check your spam mail. Sometimes those go to spam. Also, um, you can just message me and I will send you a link, okay? I'm gonna show you those cards in just a minute. Um, for those of you who are just finding me for the first time, uh, my name is Christina Reese and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page. Mondays, I try to do a technique. Wednesdays, we have card challenges. And on Friday, I have fun folds for you. So that is what we're doing today. All right, let me switch over. Here we go. We've got card kit of for March. So I am using the for March's card kit. This is the... Um, Oh heavens, I've drawn a blank. Um, layers, uh, artistically composed, artistically layered card bundle. Uh, the paper, the stamp set, the die cuts, the ribbon. Now, uh, I will tell you that these little uh, stones that I put on here are not available until March 4th, so I have substituted those with um, another bling, but uh, that's all on the uh, the information page and like I said if you have not uh, seen it uh, the information page just message me and I can send that to you all right let's get started with today's card kit I mean today's card this is called a folding screen you know those room dividers uh, or uh, a screen that you unfold and you hide all your boxes behind so your room looks nice and organized. <laughs> Dare anybody look behind that screen? We're going to create one of those, but it is going to be a greeting card. So that's exciting. All right, remember all the me uh, all the measurements are on my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. So uh, you can do that. I'm going to put that up on the top of the screen so that you don't forget creating with christina is spelt with a k dot com and that is where you can find there we go that is where you can find the measurements for this card all right so first of all uh let's show you what i'm using i'm using this beautiful paper and it comes from symbols of fortune have you seen our symbols of fortune paper it is gorgeous oh my gosh so one side is uh slate um steel slate is that right oh heavens uh, why am i uh smoky slate there we go it's smoky slate with gold and white all right so that's one side then the other side is this beautiful soft succulent and calypso coral just uh with some crumb cake so it's uh, calypso coral evening evergreen soft succulent uh, crumb cake, smoky slate, and then also gold. Oh my, so those are the colors that go with this paper. So pretty. And it's perfect for those beautiful oriental uh, folding screens that you see in people's homes. My parents had one. Okay, so this is my paper. I'm going to use this for uh, my screen, but I'm not going to cut that up first. I am going to, instead of using the Symbols of Fortune stamp set, I wanted to show you a stamp set that would go really well with this paper also. And this is called Soaring Swallows. And I also like it because it's got sending loving thoughts and it has a, um, a tag um, thing that cuts these two out perfectly. It also cuts out the congratulations and you could stamp like a little something up there in that top when you 
put in congratulations. So uh, really awesome. Love that. So I'm going to cut all this out for you and show you how to put these birds together. These swallows, they're all different pieces that you put together, or you can just stamp them and cut them out, cut out the silhouettes here. So either way, and then it's also got a watercolor wash and a uh, splatter mark. Love this. This is a great stamp set. Okay, so we got all that. Now, our first our very first piece is let's create the screen. So I took a uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and then I cut it in half. So I had two pieces that were five and a half inches tall. All right, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, there we go. Five and a half inches tall. Then, but, and they were both eight and a half, but then I cut it down. One of them is six and a half and the other one is six okay and now we're going to score both of them at three and six inches okay so let me get my scoring tool out and i'm looking up at my comments i've got uh judy and sherry or Sher yeah sherry uh murel leanne hello hello you all all right so make sure you are scoring this correctly make sure this is the five and a half right there okay so we wanted to go three and six, all right? So three, and don't cut it, score it. Three and then, whoops, come here. It's getting caught up on that. Then at six, okay? And the other one, you just have to do it three. Now make sure, once again, you wanna make sure you're at five and a half. Okay, uh, hmm. That's at six. That's five and a half. Okay, make sure that your five and a half is going long ways, all right? Be careful because you don't want to accidentally score it the wrong direction. There we go. Okay, so now I have two pieces and three, six, and then three, and then there's this little half inch. Well, guess what? We're going to glue those together like that, and we are going to have four panels to our folding screen. So let's put that away for a sec and let's get out our glue because you, whenever you're uh, securing something that's going to fold and be uh, played with back and forth, you want a very strong adhesive. So you can use our stamp and seal plus or our liquid glue. Our uh, tear and tape is also another good option. It's a very strong adhesive. But whenever I'm, I always use uh, glue because I know it will never fail me when I do not want it to come apart. Okay, there we go. And I'm trying to get it close enough to the edge, but not too close where it will squish out. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna lay that on there and get it as even as I can. Okay, and if you see that it's just a little bit off, that's okay. Um, you can trim it up later. All right, so there we go. We've got that on there, nice and secure. Now, let's fold our screen. So we're gonna fold it in half, okay, and get our bone folder so we get a nice crease, crisp crease, okay. And then we're gonna fold these uh, out. So it's, like I said, it's an accordion. It's a folding screen. And this piece that you see that you glued, that's just gonna be on the back of the card, so you don't need to worry about that. All right, and then here we go. So this is the beginning of the screen, all right? Now, a screen usually has legs, so let's make some legs. I've got this punch here. This is the Label Me Pretty, no, Label Me Lovely, I'm sorry, Label Me Lovely punch. I really like this punch because very versatile um, in the sense, see the straight line right there? Well, I should turn over to you, but that straight line, you can make that long, you can make this a very long strip. It doesn't have to be just this size. Um, I can show you that on another video. This video though, I am just sticking this halfway in. I want to make sure you can see this now. I am, see this, where this point and this point are, where it, right, where it meets the straight edge. That's where I'm putting the bottom of my card. The label itself is three inches and the panel is three inches. Let me go this way so you can see better. Three inches, three inches. So I'm centering that and I'm lining up woo, the corners right there. Tilt it. Nope, I moved it over. Hold on, let me get it centered again. There we go. Right like that and pop. <laughs> and we've got the bottom of that part of the screen. Now we're going to do this on all four panels. 
like I said, you just uh, kind of center it best you can, let, line it up with those two points. I'm having a problem here. It's not wanting to center. There it goes. And then this one. And the last one. All right. And now we have legs to our screen. <laughs> All right. See that? And uh, I don't know if you can. So that's how it's going to stand. And that's how it's going to look. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So far, so good. So that part's pretty easy. All right. Let me repeat one more time. And remember, you can get the uh, measurements on my blog right there. I have two pieces of white cardstock. Well, I actually have one piece of eight and a half by 11, and I cut it in half, so I had two five and a half inch pieces. Then I trimmed those five and a half inch pieces. One of them is six and a half, and the other one is six. And I scored it so that I had three inch panels. Okay, then I glued them together, okay, and I folded it, and now I have my screen, okay? It's a folding screen card. All right, uh, we're going to put designer paper on here, and this designer paper, when you um, order my uh, paper shears, I cut the big 12 by 12 in half, so you have 6 by 12. Um, so you probably have a lot of this if you order my paper shares when new catalogs come out. It's six inches here, and so I'm just going to cut. Uh, this is three inches, but I don't want it to go all the way across. I want a wee bit of the white showing. So I'm going to go two and three quarters, and that will leave an eighth of an inch border. All right, two and three quarters, um, both sides here. But I don't want five and a half because then it would cover up my legs. So I measured where this came up, and if it's five inches from here. Oops, there we go. It's five inches from here to here. So if I come in, I'm going to go four and three quarters. So two and three quarters. And let me uh, show you the little post-it note I made for that. So there we go. Two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And you need four of them. Okay. All right. So let's cut that out. Put that over here and get my paper trimmer. Okay. And I'm going to do the two and three quarters first. Then I will, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to do the four and three quarters first. There we go. The four and three quarters first, like this. And then I'm going to uh, layer them and cut them at two and three quarters. So four and three quarters right there. Whoop, you can't see. There we go. Four and three quarters right there. And I'm going to trim that off and put it to the side and then do another one. Four and three quarters. Make sure it's even. And I just noticed something when I did that. I noticed it's off by like a, a scant down here, and it's even up here. So to make sure that it doesn't keep getting more and more slant, I'm going to work. I'm going to have the edge line up with the line on my grid and not worry about the back of my trimmer. Sometimes when you bump your paper up against the back of the trimmer, um, it's not exactly parallel and not exactly square. So if you want to make sure it is, then uh, use the lines on the grid instead. All right, and then we're going to cut that off. All right, now that I've got these two pieces, I want both of these to be two and three quarters across. So I'm going to do that, put them together, and two and three quarters is right there. Nope. Haha, <laughs> I almost messed up. Okay. Yeah, it's six inches here. I have it at three, so this it's that tall. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna cut it. Whew, I'm glad I didn't make that mistake. Be real careful when you're doing that, especially if you have a design direction, and this actually does, it's hard to tell, but these are tree branches and they grow up, so you want them um, to be going in that direction. So another two and three quarters. All right, are we all following me? So there we go. We've got our four panels. This is leftover. We'll just put this over in our scrap pile and use that later. Take this off. And there we go. Now, where'd my screen go? Right, here we go. <laughs> so fun. I love making cards like this. Need my tape runner. 
Okay, put that up there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put tape on all four backs. Oh, missing one. There it is. On all four backs. There we go. Kind of a little assembly line going here. And if you all don't know that when you are creating cards and you want time, if you've got like you're trying to do it quickly, you want don't want to take so much time doing it, uh, try to uh, do things like in batches or um, assembly line, um, and it, it it frees up a little time and makes it go a little faster. All right, so that one is centered. Now this one. And this is where it really starts looking like a folded screen. Come oh, this tape is so sticky. All right. yeah, that's why a lot of people like using the liquid glue because you have a little wiggle room. This uh, tape is so sticky. Once it's down, you may tear the paper trying to get it back up. Okay. And the last one. There we go. Okay. Now it really is looking like a screen. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm frozen. Am I frozen, you guys? What happened? Oh, heavens to Betsy. What is going on? Oh, low battery. Yikes. I apologize. Whoopsie. Oh, I did not. I did. Okay. Right. Okay, you all. Sorry about this. I am trying to connect again to my iPhone. My iPhone almost ran out of batteries and it tried to uh, to stop me. All right. Are we there? Okay, I think we got it. Let me put this back in my holder. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. What a morning. Not quite as crazy as yesterday morning, but pretty crazy. Okay. Sorry about that. How much did you all miss? Let's. See. I'm going to run back on my comments real quick. Um Hello, ladies. Me too, me too, me too. Uh, ah. Looks like we're good. Yep, frozen. Yep, frozen. Yep, frozen. <laughs> okay, all you can see me do. Phew. All right. Back to making a card. So, this is our... Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. I love it. I especially love this cut at the bottom that... make You know, the legs. It's just... It's so ornate. I love it. All right. Let's make the card part now. So I told you I'm using Soaring Swallows, all right? And I've already done some of this. Let me get the screen out of the way for a second. And here are all my pieces. Lordy have mercy. <laughs> I cut all the pieces out. And I wear my tweezers because this is going to be weird. All right, and so here's a branch. Oh, I thought I had two branches. Oh, I do. There we go. Here's my other branch. And I cut these out in black, okay? Um, my card screen only has gold and white and um, crumb cake. And I didn't really want to use those colors, but I didn't want to bring in a total another color. Whoops, the little flowers are coming off. So, all right, so now let me show you how I made this real quick in the dies. Remember, I told you about this little label here. So I cut one out in gold and one out in white. The gold one I cut from point to point and adhered part of it to the top and part of it to the bottom. So that's what that looks like. Okay, can y'all see that? So that was pretty simple. All right, so I have that. That's my sentiment. Put that to the side. Now, I have these branches and I have a million little flowers. Okay, and then I've got the swallows. <laughs> a million swallows. I cut both swallows out, both in white and both in black, and I'm going to layer them. Whoops. Okay. 
So this is going to be kind of tedious, but I wanted to show you all how to put these swallows together. Um, sometimes this can get kind of confusing. All right, come here. And I got to make sure I have the right pieces to the right birds. I shouldn't have put them all together like this. This is going to be kind of crazy. All right, but one thing I do know, I need them all facing the correct direction. Okay. And, yeah. All right, whoops, and here's a little white piece of the bird. And another white piece. All right, the flowers I do not need. All right, now that I've got all the pieces to my birds, and like I said, I've got two white and two black. So that's why there's so many pieces here. Just move the flowers out of the way. There we go. And now I'm going to get the... Um, the die out here so I can kind of see how this goes together. The, the swallow that has the head kind of swooping up, so there's only two of them. There's this one with his wings up and this one with his beak going up, okay? Um, I'm going to put those right there so that helps me remember where everything goes, get the branches out of the way. All right, so I have, this is a swoop and this is the one that uh, has the wing up. All right, now where's the black ones? Here's the black one like that, and here's the black one like that. All right, so now we have those parts. The next thing is, and this is where I'm going to be going um, in different directions, okay? Let me quickly come back here. I apologize. I hope I'm not messing up my screen. No, I'm not. All right, um, I'm pulling up the picture of it for me so I don't forget how this looks. On my computer okay almost there almost there there we go and like that all right now that I've got the picture there and you all can you all see me and my hands why are my hands not moving oh heavens okay I guess I can't have it up there let me go back to Manicam. All right, okay, I'm back. Yeah, you can see my hands now. Well, shoot. No biggie, no biggie. Oh, I can do this. Here is... Mm. You know what? I'm, this will, here we go. So, there we go. So the swallow that is like this, of course, when you cut it out, it's like this. So here it is like that. Okay, and it has two wings, and then you can see the drawing of it like that. It's going to have two wings. One goes, come here. Nope. Yep. Yep, that one goes right there. Okay. So, and then there should be like, yeah, this piece, I believe. Yes. Look at this puzzle I'm putting together. All right, so I've got that wing, and now I need my other wing. And it is kind of it is kind of easy to tell which wings go with which. These are more fluffed out, and these are more, they have more of a curve on the side there. All right, so let me take this one, and that one is going right there. So it's just a little puzzle piece. But then there should be a, yeah, this piece here. Right like that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, you can either, so the bodies, here's the white body, and here's the black body. So I'm going to switch out the bodies, and I'm going to put a black body back there. So now what I've got, whoo, and this is why I cut out two of each, okay? All right, I'll glue this together in just a minute. All right, so that is one of the birds, black and white. Now, let's do the other one. Okay, so here's the white one like that. So we're going to get the uh, wing, the two wings, and um, make sure I've got, got it looking right. And no. So this, oh, see these are drawn backwards. All right, let me get this one out. 
Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so that one. Yeah, that one definitely goes there. Right there. Okay. Yeah, you can always just put the pieces back into the cutout and <laughs> you know where they go. <laughs> All right. And this one. Oh, okay, because they're both up. Yeah, this one goes like something like that. Anyways, we'll put it there in just a sec. Um, where are the other pieces, though? Double check here. What am I doing? So I have that. Okay, he's just connected up there. All right, I will figure this out. I apologize, you all. Okay, we've got these pieces. Yep. So this white one. Okay. Ah, I think I'm seeing this. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that piece is going to go there. Okay. And where's my other little white piece? Maybe we don't have another white piece because it's it overlays. It lays over it. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I do want the black body. Hmm, I am not seeing my black body. I know I cut one out. Oh, shoot. Well, okay, I'll just cut another one out. I apologize. <sighs> Where's my black paper? Here it is. I'm looking on my cutting machine, making sure I didn't leave it on there, but no, I did not. All right. <laughs> Y'all are so patient with me. Thank you so much. Oh, putting these birds together. All righty. Did I already lose it? Oh, it's stuck to the board. Gosh, how crazy. All right, so there's the body. Phew. All right. And the wing. All right, so we have... So this bird has the black body and the white tail. The other one is going to have a white body with the black tail. And then I need the white wings. Now that I've put it together, I kind of know what I'm doing. Yep. Like that. And like that. Whoops. Come here. There we go. Yeah, it's coming together much faster. <laughs> and I should have a white ball. I guess I didn't cut those out. Okay, no problems. We'll get it. And, okay, this is the overlapping wing. This wing goes here. And this tip part goes on this one. There should be another black piece there. Well, my goodness gracious, where did all my extra pieces go? All right. Well, we'll just do the best we can. Okay. Uh, where's my screen? Here's my screen. All right, so we're going to... Put these birds together and put them on our card. Um, we also have the branch. So let me come in here. I don't want, I should have put these together a, a little over. Come on, slide up. Yay! <laughs> come on, slide. Woo! There we go. Okay. Now you can see the card. All right, so we're going to put a black branch here. Okay, and the sending loving thoughts here. So this is the front of the card, all right? So I'm going to put some adhesive. Um, this would have been better if I had cut it out with adhesive uh, backing, but I did not. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of glue, not very much at all, and just put it in the peeps of the leaves. Got to get it coming. Come on. There we go. All right, just right there at the tip of the leaves. Not very much, or it'll squish out and make a sticky card, because this glue doesn't dry dry. It dries sticky. Okay. That looks good enough. 
and there we go. Okay, now we have these cute little pieces, all these little flowers, and they go on the tips of each of this is gonna take forever. Oh no, I don't want to take forever. All right, we'll just do the best we can. This is a three. So where would this one go? Maybe, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wherever you want to put it. Okay. And then I'm going to take it uh, dimensionals. I'm going to put this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is taking forever. I apologize. There we go. All right. So, so and it can go, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to share with you. Since it's only a three inch wide card and your card can be four and a quarter, this can hang off the edge. And I always like that look. It gives it a little, just a little something. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need um, some of these birds on here. So let me get my tweezers and pick this one up and put some glue on the back. All right, so this is the one that has the wings out. So we'll go this way. There we go. That looks good. Okay, and then it has the black body. How are we doing? Are y'all hanging in there? I said I probably should have done all this. And this would have been a good idea to cut all these out with adhesive bags. That would have been a smart idea. Okay, but you know, live and learn. <laughs> okay, just a little bit. Like I said, you don't want much glue because you don't want it to squish out. Oops, that's not exactly dry. It's still moving. Okay, there we go. And this little white piece here. Okay. And now this bottom wing. Yes, uh, Francis is using punch to create stand. Yeah, uh, here's the punch I used if you didn't see that. It's called the label, the love, label me lovely. All right, and now I've got this wing, and his wing. It's not down here at the bottom. It is. You should be able to see it connected to the body there. So, like I said, I'm looking for. Yeah, it should go right there. Okay, and then this piece. All right, I'm not going to continue making this card. It will take us all morning. I wanted to show you all how to make the screen, so I'll show you that one more time, and then how this stamp set really goes with this paper. Um, I will take, as when I finish it, I will go ahead and take, whoops, sorry, I'm not looking at you. <laughs> when I finish putting this card together, I'll take pictures of it, and I'll put the pictures on the blog post. So one more time, the screen itself is... The white piece here in the back is two pieces, whoops, two pieces. It's cut five and a half by six and a half and five and a half by six. Then you score at three inches and attach it at this little half inch. Um, let me turn it over so you can see where it is connected. See where it is. Woo, come here. Well, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. You can see it like that. That half inch little fold, I just glued that and so then it made the accordion like this. Okay, and I'm going to finish putting the birds on here and the branches and the flowers so that you can see that. I'm also going to help you out with putting these birds together. Um, I think it might be helpful if I take pieces, a uh, picture of the pieces and then show you how to put them together in picture form instead of doing the video. It might take longer. So. 
Also, don't forget the card kit, okay, is available. And if you did not get um, the information about this month's card kit, you can message me. Um, if you're on my email, you should have gotten an email with all the information. If you did not, uh, check your spam folder. If you know you've signed up for my newsletter, um, check your spam folder. Make sure... That's the other thing about my newsletter. Um, it will They go to spam when you don't have the address as a um, one of your contacts, okay? So be sure you have me as a contact, Christina at creatingwithchristina.com. That way um, your email server knows that you know my address and I'm not spam, okay? That's one way to do it. Another way is if you've got an email server where you can mark it as not spam and it should always come to your inbox. Um, Okay, you all have a blessed Friday, a wonderful weekend. I will finish this card up, take pictures, and you all can check it out on the blog later today, okay? Uh, love you so much. <laughs> Bye-bye.